hello right uh, this video is a bit of everything it's a bit of here, here there and everywhere um i've been working sorry about the noise i've been working uh, on some more acts and uh, i've got a little swap coming up act swap just about all i can manage at the moment um i just wanted to push myself that little bit further and uh obviously you know been talking on Woolly Steph and Betsy Doodles and Andrea Cumbrian Crafters channel and uh, very very nicely someone contacted me and said that uh, they'd love love a swap and I'm absolutely th thrilled to bits so I've been working on these I got the idea from the front of my uh, album cover um, Woolly Steph's art album mini art album um, series that she's running that was uh, my bubble blowing and then I popped these on and I called it airwaves and the reason I've called it airwaves is because I decided to do a, a little tiny ACT from it um, because this gives I liked the cover very much uh, what I've used uh, we've got a new a real Christmas tree this year and you know how they suck the Christmas trees in uh, in that net it's a little bit like Ina Sharple's um, hairnet if if anybody uh knows who ina sharples is it really does it's fine very very fine um white netting i've cut it up i tried to keep it in strips but it's still falling apart obviously because it's just made of nylon but it, it looked like the spray coming off the look if you see here it looks like the spray coming off of the sea and i liked i liked that idea um I called these airwaves, so I changed this little word in that I had up at the top to airwaves and put the seagulls on there. Now, when I was doing these seagulls, I cut them out just off of white paper like I did here, and then I put the texture paste over the top, and it actually looks like uh, feathers. And I, I first of all done them white, and then put the texture paint on and then I can't remember why I can't remember why I just did it I don't know whether I was showing Ben something but I just did it I put the paper over the top of these and I rubbed and I got the complete outline as you can see here so then as you it, it's it really is just popping out of the page so I thought all oh, right just because it's only meant to look a, a little bit like a, a seagull. And um, the outline was so prominent, uh, I thought, oh, well, I'm going to use that. Uh, and uh, I think it's worked. Now, with any of my videos, I'm quite happy. If anyone sees I'm doing something, you know, structured criticism, um, I, you know, I can handle anything else, I'll probably cry. <laughs> But any structured criticism or any any idea uh, that you've got, please, please add it on the bottom of, of my um, videos. I really don't mind because I'm learning all the time, every day, especially now with this paint. Every uh, every make is a, is a new something. Have I got which way round are they? Is that it? Is that it? Or is that it? I don't know. Anyway, they were getting bigger and bigger. These seagulls. Um, so. And then this one, I've done it with the pen that I, I write everything with. It was one of Ben's pens. You know when it starts off, let me get a piece of paper. You know when it starts off, these pens, starts off pink, and then you turn it and it goes to all different colours. Oh, I think they're wonderful. Um, absolutely love them. Well, when I was rubbing over with a pencil, I thought, oh, I wonder if that would work. Oh, and it did, look. Aren't they terrific? So uh, I didn't know whether to leave them grey, leave them white, leave them grey. On this grey one, I've put tiny weeny, tiny weeny uh, texture paint uh, feathers coming off the, the back there. And um, oh, I'm pleased with them. And this one, look, it's lovely. Just changed it up, the colours. Just, uh, you know, a little bit of fantasy bird colour there flying, and not Yeah, yeah. So I'm pleased with them. Anyway, I'd like to know which one you prefer, whether you like the grey or the whether you think this this colour uh, works. Um, I uh, I 
was really shocked when when I did it. I thought, oh, something different, artistic, all ads, doesn't it? Anyway, so that's these ATCs. Then I went on to let me just cut him out because he's a bit fabulous. There we are. Another one there. Um, then I went on to do. Um, let me move this out of the way. Let me move this out of the way. Let's pop that in in there. Pop them in there. Move that out of the way. Then I, using that textured paste on top of uh, the wings, reminded me of something I made a long, long time ago with my crystals. I had done a wing, a white wing in this textured paste and then added crystals onto it. If Mick gets in uh, in a minute, I'll get him to run up the stairs. I should, I should have got it ready to show you. So anyway, so I've done these and they're, they're extra special to me. I'm gonna show you why. As I've been making them, I used ledger paper, not ledger paper, well, ledger paper, whatever you call it. My mum used to um, be a bookkeeper beautiful handwriting she had and um, I found some wonderful things up there which um, obviously are not going to sit in a box and rot I'm going to add them to everything that I will be keeping um, anyway I, I saw them and I thought Do you know what I'm going to add them there we are look we've got her name Clark there and I thought it was quite fitting because I was doing them at Christmas we've got Christmas there so every, each one has got some sort of writing of my mum on there so I put a feather on it I've textured it up uh, also this paper let me see this one I think this one shows it better see this here this is um, it's actually material on sticky back uh, and it was all uh, lovely lovely little um, doilies on it which was quite nice so I painted with gesso then I layered all mum's um, ledger paper, then put the material over it, then put the die cut of the wing, then done the texture paste on top to make the feather, and then I stamped out, oh, now where are they? I wanted to, oh, better. oh yeah, there they are. Look what I found. Bought them a million years ago for Ben. Forgot I had them, A to Z, little tiny words so whatever word you want to put you you put them together um and i thought they do and i think i think it was small enough hopefully it was small enough uh yeah so i've done my little words um went inked around them with a, a different color pink i've just got to cover the back put a nice piece of paper on the back to write um and there we are my angel yeah i i liked those i was pleased with those uh now on to uh oh let's let's do sarah then we've got sarah's shabby sheet creations i just text her and i said any chance i could just upload them while i'm doing my video sarah's on her video the video is card making to get back into the swing of it uh go and have a look at that video that sarah from sarah's shabby sheet creations she was making a load of cards uh they're all you know three-dimensional cards there she's layered them out, fussy cutted around them and laid them out. They're absolutely lovely. Bought several of those off of Sarah and um, they've all gone out and then it dawned on me that I hadn't videoed it because I said to her, oh, oh, can I video it? She said, of course. So I thought I'd just show you the few that I've got left that are going off to aunties. And um, aren't they lovely? So pop over to Sarah's Shabby Sheet Creations and the video you're looking for is card making to get back into the swing of it. Lovely, there you go, that was Sarah's bits and bobs. What's the other thing? I think, what are you doing, what are you doing? Oh yes, um, I've got uh, uh, the ACT swap coming up and I remembered on Dee's, uh, one of Dee's videos, she was saying, you know, you're just painting and you're just doing all sorts on there uh, and I've been spraying with, um, with the Distress Inks and uh, I think they're quite nice quite sweet and I thought she said you know you can use any bits and pieces it might not like it but it might be useful later 
and uh, they were not great but this one I thought was fabulous because I'd, I'd done this um, little uh, tag there hanging hanging there you go so I'm going to send that off to the person that I'm doing the uh, ACT swap with uh, as the card hopefully that will be all right I'm going to cover the inside of the card because it's gone through with paper and um, clever idea D yeah any any piece of paper that you're working on you can you make it and use it for something else so that's going to be the card to hang a, a tag on we said um, a couple of ACTs and a and a, a tag so I've done a, a Christmassy and oh I nearly forgot and the where I got that inspiration from was oh I nearly forgot that made me feel bleh, was from Woolly Steph I received this a couple of that I've done that because I had it stuck on it doesn't it's never far away wherever I'm working I stick it in front of me to to look at it and give me inspiration this was for my tree uh, I believe it was last Christmas or the Christmas before that hearts come home for Christmas um, uh, Steph has used corrugated sheets here cut them out edged all around them underneath is loads of different layers of paper and paint and all sorts going on on them they're fabulous love this top one very so that's where i got this idea i pinched it hope you didn't mind steph and that's from um woolly steph please pop over and have a look at woolly steph's channel she's got loads of ideas over there um and that was where i got the inspiration from this beautiful heart so uh i made my own interpretation of it um i think that oh no 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 i think we've got a couple of minutes let's put that there let's move that to one side and me haul from hobbycraft everybody who is in the uk has probably got a, a hobbycraft near them mick popped me in there we haven't been out for absolutely yonks um and I, and mix it all get yourself some stuff for christmas so i thought oh lovely and I've already used some this morning and I thought well, I'd better show you before I go any further. Absolutely delighted. So my Mod Podge, last time you're going through tons of that. If anyone's got something that they cover there, you know, like, like the leaves, so it doesn't come off. If you've got something more reasonable than Mod Podge that you go over the top with, I got that lovely um, glitter spray. Uh, that seals it but then you've got uh, the sheen going over so who, whatever you use is better I'd appreciate you telling me if you've got something better than the Mod Podge to cover up your work to seal your work is the word oh I've got some of this triple thick used that a very long time ago um, and I used to drip that on all my tags so I've got some more of that triple thick because it looked like glass it was lovely uh, their interpretation of our oh this um, Stamperia cream paste. I asked them if they had any modelling paste that I could use, you know, on, on stencils and what have you, and that was what they give me for that. I don't know if any of you have used that, but uh, I've got that to try with, with that. Um, and uh, I'm doing a grey, a favourite colours grey. Uh, my grandson's girly. Um, she, I've, I've been in. Uh, got a few photos of them and him and I'm going to do a little journal for her and uh, so I picked up these lovely grey no other colour she just loves grey so um, look at all these I'm, I'm thrilled with them I, I'm sorry I can't remember how much they were but I think about five pound and there's I believe these are what are called fat quarters are they well, I don't know you uh, you material quilting lot will know Yes, yeah, quite quite a bit, quite a bit there. Look at that; they're going to be lovely. So there's going to be loads left over for other projects. Um, yeah, so pleased with that. So I'll, I've got a, I've I've made a start, but um, at the base and everything. But I needed uh, some. Um, I want to do some of them frills that they do down the page. I think that'd be nice where they concertina the material down the side, and then some of these uh waxes i've seen on everybody's channel uh very uh mine are quite boring they come from that um sorry it's in my 
needed to be dyed hair then they look they're quite dried up that was from that uh, lovely crafting haul that i got three of those so i decided to treat myself to some new ones oh mickey hello darling i'm trying to think where i've left it i think it's in you know the, the back bedroom can you go up you know those things i made uh, with the angel wings on with the crystals that i put on them i think there's one stood up on the fireplace would you go and grab it for me sorry i know you've just walked through the door but um i'm film filming and you don't want them to hear you say no do you <laughs> thank you darling um so i treated me i didn't treat myself mick bought me these for chris look at this uh, Betsy Doodles was the last one I saw use. Look at this colour. So I have been a bit naughty. I've uh, used it already and it is wonderful. That's what I've gone round the edge. This luster, look at that, it's beautiful. Well pleased with that. And the gold, there we go. Um, Needing a new bone fold and mine is absolutely where I keep cutting the glue that I get stuck off. It's really bobbled now. So new bone folders. Uh, needed a new knife so mick got me a knife what a christmas present this is and look see this here i've wanted one of these little bone folders see everybody using them uh, i haven't got a circuit but um i needed a spatula to lay the paste and uh one of these little spat um you know bone folders so mick put that into the for the present look and then i come home and i done sorry one moment the picture the whole picture that's got the whole wing with all the crystals stuck on it do you know have a little look it might be on the cupboard with all the photos of mum and dad and picture frames <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah, talk amongst yourselves while me and hubby are having a chat um yeah so there we are and we come home and um he gave me the bag and, and I said, can I just have a look? And he went, it's never going to stay there till Christmas, is it? You want it, don't you? And I did one of them faces that you all do when you want something early. And he said I could have it now to play with. So I'm thrilled to pieces. Merry Christmas, Deb, from Mick. Uh, that's it. I think that's it. If Hopefully if Mick gets back in a minute with, um, with this... Uh, photo i can show you the wing idea that i made i made loads of them um yeah i made them all for um i made them all for a fate uh we were doing and, and obviously i used to um enjoy my crystals and i stuck crystals all over these white textured wings and put them in a picture frame and well they absolutely flew out the door they really did I've got a feeling Mick's not going to be able to find them. Bless his heart. Um, oh, I nearly forgot. And that, because I was managing with this. So, he got me that as well. And I spoilt, spoilt rotten I am. Have you been lucky, Mick? No, <laughs> you just... Everyone, if you just could have seen the way he come back and lifted these two... No, they are the ACTs we made together. Oh, I did them. You, you, yes, we know you did them because everyone has said mix are really nice. Yeah, yours are all right, Deb, but mix are lovely. No, you can't find it. Never mind. It doesn't matter, Mick. I've shown, I've shown these wings. Um, anyway, thank no. you. No, thank you, darling. They're, they're not what I want, but you are a treasure for running up there for me. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank you, Grafters. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. <laughs> Have a lovely crafting afternoon. I've now got to stop and listen to uh, the joys of oh, mixed work. Bye, everyone. <laughs>